All right, guys. So uh, I tried to do a video for the installation of the AV30s uh, that I, we've just picked up on the flight home and kind of give my honest feedback. I, I really don't know. I got bumped around so bad that entire flight. Seven six Quebec. Follow the Learjet on Lima. Uh, follow the Learjet on Lima. Seven six Quebec. And so. I was really unable to uh, fly straight and level at all. Ah, uh, there you go. Now you just said. I was unable to fly straight, straight level, uh, really tell GPS anything. I was getting bumped around, moderate hey. occasional severe turbulence. It was pretty bad. So, uh, got her home, and we just had terrible winds here in El Paso. And so now uh, I'm in the monkey suit because I'm going to go out this morning and give her a quick flight to see how everything works. Got this camera working this time. And, yeah, so we're going to taxi down, do the run-up, and see how these things work in calm conditions, because, man, it was rough. All right, so camera's going off, taxi down behind that guy. Hey! We need 7 six, go back, turn left on course, runway 26 left, clear for takeoff, wind 1504. Left on course, clear for takeoff, runway 26 left, from many 5976, go back. All right, here we go. Heading bug is set to runway heading. And we're going to get our aligned. On the center line, fuel pump's coming on. All right, show 260, heading bug, all right, coming up. Make it power. Oh, right rudder. Airspeed is alive. Airspeed is alive. And we're flying. All right, so we did a couple turns here. We're rolling so we'll see right now, see what far flight says. Up three degrees up. I'll take that. So what we're doing is we're going down here uh, to the south air, southeast of this airport and uh, just doing some maneuvers to make sure this is like matching up. I want to do some slow flight. What I noticed on the way down here is that the, the miles per hour match um, at high speed here, uh, but low speed, it seems to be about five-ish off. I'd rather have it more accurate on the slower side than on the high side. So, all right, so we're going to pitch up to 500 feet per minute. Check that out real quick. All right, indicated 500 feet per minute. Uh, there we go, six, seven hundred. Let's right, stabilize on here. That's pretty close. About four hundred, about four hundred. Up to seven thousand, up to seven thousand, up to seven hundred percent. Coming down. Hold about four hundred feet per minute. But I notice it jumps and then it'll stabilize. So it gets a little antsy and then it stabilizes. All right, cool. I'm going to do a stall to see how the angle, uh, that angle works on there. All right, throttle battle. They're indicating 80, 87. All right, it's flashing red right now. There's the buffer. There she goes. All right, so we're going to keep her kind of slow here. That's her arms. Do some slow flight.
Here, I'm in the installation menu of the AV30, and I'm changing the airspeed bias to make it uh, more accurate at lower speed with uh, my airspeed indicator. You can also do this with the uh, bank angle, too, all done in the installation menu. All right, now we're going to do some slow flight again. We're going to stall it again, see how we just adjusted the airspeed there. All right, crossing 65 right now. Yep, that's much better. All right, let's double check the high speed stuff. Make sure that's still good. 110 indicated, 108, so 110 right there, 19. All right, so it's about a mile an hour off on the high speed stuff. Bus curve, yep. But it's on on the low speed stuff. That's really all I needed. I do have to get to work, guys. Um, so let you know. Hey, track one zero. Let me roll out here. Air flight says the track is 101. It says my track is 109, so this does have some drift. My recommendation on the DT side, attitude indicator is great. Everything on here is amazing. On the DT side, maybe if I learn my altitude control a little bit. I'd make sure I have a backup navigation and use GPS. So GPS, I am basically putting GPS in here. So, that all eventually happen. November 9 or 6 X-ray, you'll be following the American Air. Okay, right, uh, so all this opinion about the AV-30s from a couple flights that I've had, I love the situational awareness of the attitude indicator. November 3, Juliet, November, DT. you need a park via you need a on this frequency. Okay, stay with you. Which is the plan for this plane. But the procession is there. Thanks Shout out to Battalion uh, uh, for the amazing hat. If you guys like military aviation, uh, go follow them on all social media. You'll see a lot of my pictures up there. All right, uh, just a quick update on that video. Uh, just finished it and put it together. Uh, that video for the AV-30s, I filmed it when I picked up the plane back in April uh, after uh, Army camping trip and came back. I only had a couple flights on the AV-30s then. It's now January 23, that was April 22. So uh, my initial thing still stands. I absolutely do love the attitude indicator. Amazing situational awareness. Um, I really like when flying, I get my all the information right there. The directional gyro is bad, 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 bad. Uh, they have a external mag magnetometer, magnetometer, however you want to say it for the experimental side. Hopefully it'll be coming out for the certified side. It needs it. Uh, everyone that I've talked to that have the AV-30s all say the same thing. It needs to be linked to a GPS, and then you do GPS uh, heading and steering after that. Itself as a standalone uh, DG, I've t it works. It'll work great for like 20, 30 minutes, and then I'll just start processing, and you'll see dramatic procession. Then it'll work great again, and there's, so there's no rhyme or reason. Nothing can go through there. Um, the new update is out. I do need to update them because uh, the new issues come out. Uh, for those with AV30s, know that when you try to scroll uh, to the heading, to the correct heading, the thing spins every which way, and good luck trying to get it set right. Um, so once I have plans, still hasn't happened yet because the plane broke a bunch, and I'll do a, a review, year review on all my cost again. But... Um, yeah, we're going to get a Panamata GPS and kind of take all those issues there. But super happy on the attitude indicator side. And uh, yeah, that's it. So like, subscribe, and uh, see you guys next time.